So we're about halfway through a game of Wars Marcus Aurelius. We're on the sixth turn, uh, the 175 turn. We've just shuffled in the late war cards into the two decks, and I'm doing really, really badly. So I managed to get one of the tribes, the Izagis, uh, to surrender, which that's good. But, um, and I've been holding them in place with some forts. I had some plus two forts running up here, which uh, have a plus one pacify value, makes it harder for the Iazagis to pass their Oathbreaker check and come back into the game. But these uh, forts have been uh, eroded over time, and this is all I have left. So there's not much holding them in place. I have one leader down here, contributing one to that, and, and one unit. So, on a roll of three or better, they're going to come back in if an Oathbreaker check is triggered. That's not great. I have, I could move more guys over there, but I'm living a little dangerously, so I can try to use my uh, my two main armies here to attack the Quad Eye and the Marco Man Eye. I did have forts here as well, but they're all gone now. Uh, even worse than all this uh, is my Imperium, uh, over here on the Imperium track, is dangerously low. I've been hovering around one or two Imperium, for most of the game, if it drops down further, then uh, Marcus gets assassinated, I lose the game, it's not great. Um, I keep trying to get it up, but every time I try to get it up, something happens to bash it down. So I'm kind of in a pickle, and we're going to see how this goes. So uh, we're the uh, first round. We're going to start by drawing some Barbarian cards, and I don't have any Roman cards in hand or in my Meditations deck space to counter any of these cards, because again, I've been kind of playing by just getting my teeth here. So we'll come over here to the cards. I'm going to draw the first Barbarian card and see what we got. <laughs> so we have Rebellion, which is going to uh, trigger an Oathbreaker check and adding one to the check, so that's not great. So I'm going to be rolling a die and adding one to it, and I need to... I want to roll less than or equal to the pacification value of the Iazagi's area, which is two presently. I'm adding one. So I'm going to roll the die. There's one, plus one is two. Hey, they stay. They don't come on, on the board. I'm okay with that. Um, if at least one tribe rejoins to fight this card, the card of the history pile, otherwise in the regular disc, okay. It goes in discard pile. So that's the, I'm going to leave it here so I know that's my first card that I've drawn. So, so far, so good. Second card, Iazagi's Calvary. Well, if the Iazagi's were out, then they'd be moving twice, so I'm glad I, I didn't uh, pass that check. That card isn't go to the search pile, however. Isn't great. Third card, Quiet on the Danube. I don't draw any more cards this round. Well, that's my third card for the round, so that was a lot of help. Okay, gonna move those aside, and we're gonna draw my five Roman cards. We have a Decapitation, which will uh, end uh, the Revolt of Asidius Cassius, which uh, hasn't happened yet. Column Marcus Aurelius, plus two IP. I'm, I'm going to be using that. <laughs> uh, winter Quarters uh, helps me make attacks during the winter rounds. Uh, an action card lets me take an action. Any card lets me take an action, really. And then Route. Uh, okay, that's helpful, too. So uh, it lets me, uh, it helps in, in uh, the combat. So what I'm going to do on, on my turn to start with is I'm going to use this card here to uh, give me plus two Imperium. So my Imperium is going up to three, and this is going to discard to the history pile. So it's a, you know, a one-use only card. Now I'm going to, I'm going to try making an attack against the uh, Marco Mani. And uh, if, it, if it succeeds, I'm, I'm going to use this, um, this card here to make it a route. We'll see how that works. I'm going to hold on to that for now. So, I'm going to be attacking the Marco Manai. I'm going to move my guys up here so you can see what's going on. So, I have Marcus Aurelius with a leader rating of three and his six units. That's a total of, of nine uh, uh, combat value there. Uh, versus the Marco Manai, who have four plus two, that's six. So, I'm, I'm up by three. So, I'm going to roll a die. And the Marco Manai is going to roll a die, and we're going to see what happens. So, I have nine plus four is... Uh, 13. <laughs> I'm bad at math. And here I have 6 plus 5, which is 11, so uh, that does defeat the Mark of Mana, and I am going to use my uh, route card to move him back two spaces instead of one. 
So he's a little bit farther away from my frontier, a little closer to his home space, a little closer to hopefully surrendering. Um, I'm gonna hold on to the cards I have right now for this round. I'm gonna move down to round two so I can use them to react to whatever cards, whatever nasty cards come up here. Let's go back over to the cards and we're gonna draw a barbarian cards for the second round. First one, coordinated attack. Activate all unsurrendered tribes. Do not perform an outbreaker check. Uh, put this card in the regular disc. <laughs> so they all move up. So the quad are gonna move up. Boom. The Marco Mana are gonna move up. Boom. And uh, it goes in the discard pile, not in the search pile. So that, that's okay. But I'm gonna leave it there so I know it's there. So I know that's the first card. Second card, the quad eye. So they're gonna advance. That's not great because they're getting into my frontier. Now, if I had a fort here, that would, that would prevent him from moving further. I probably should have used one of my cards to put a fort there before, but, uh, you know, I wasn't thinking. So I'm going to move this one into the uh, surge pile and draw the third card, which is the Iazagis. Uh, I am going to discard one of my cards, which... Uh, I'm going to discard the decapitation card. I'm probably not going to need it. Uh, <laughs> now that I've said it, I'm going to. So that it doesn't go into the surge pile. Uh, and the Iazagis aren't on the board, so nothing happens there. So that's, that's pretty good. Now we're in round two of this turn, so we're going to draw three cards. Um, so the Illusionian Mysteries. Uh, I'm going to use this card right away, because that is going to let me save two cards at the end of the round, and that's going to be uh, helpful instead of just saving uh, one. Uh, temporary Truce. Uh... Let me just move these guys back here so I don't uh, get what I'm doing. Um, well, that would be great if he, if uh, the quaddy weren't like in my business there. So I'm going to... I'm going to start by attacking the uh, quaddy with uh, Maximinius. So I'm going to attack. And here we have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, combat value versus five. There's no terrain value here because he's in my area, not his own. So that's uh, two, three, four, that's eight. Uh, the die roll is nine. That's not a great die roll. And then it's five. His die roll is ten. So he uh, he beat me. I'm gonna lose one of my dudes. That's not great. It goes to the recovery box. Uh, because I rolled a one. I would lose one IP if Marcus was in charge. Marcus isn't here though, so that's that's okay. My IP is safe for now. Um, but I can uh, I can play Ordered Retreat, this card here, to actually prevent my guy from getting lost. So I still have my six guys there. And uh, uh, you know I'm gonna hold on, and we're gonna go to the third round and see uh, how how much worse this can get. Probably can't get much worse, I don't think. So, uh, first is Bellamar. Uh, so I perform... Okay, put the Marco Manite to bold. They're bold. Form Oathbreaker check if needed and not. Immediately attack them. Discard one card. Uh, using any battle cards you like. They have plus two combat value for this battle. Okay. So I have to attack the Marco Manai right away because they, they have a leader there. Uh, I have... Uh, Marcus, which is three, and his uh, six is nine, versus four, five, six, and then uh, four for the terrain value is ten. Uh, I don't have any combat cards that are going to help me here, so uh, I am going to roll and hope I, I roll okay. So that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's that's all right, and that's ten, eleven. Okay, I, I defeated him. Um, he's actually going to be flipped over to uh, his uh, demoralized size because he rolled the one. He's going to be retreated. And then what else happens with this card? Uh, if I win, they retreat one space. Or demoral... Oh, that would happen anyway. And I gain one IP. All right, things are looking up for me. This goes to the history pile. And you notice this little laurel leaf here? This means it's going to be worth a victory point at the end of the game. Should, should I survive? I, I kind of doubt I'm going to, but we'll see. We have a second card for this round. Phidias Cassius. So you know how I said I'm just gonna discard this card for Phidias Cassius. I'm not gonna need it. Well, I kind of need it. So let's then go to the Eastern Empire off-map conflict space. 
right there. And the third card, uh, Goddess Fortuna, Fortuna, oh boy, uh, reshuffle the Barbarian deck. I'm gonna shuffle these back into the deck. All these nasty cards go back into the deck. And that's the last Barbarian draw. Now it's the last round and the Romans get one more card. And I can play that to reshuffle my, my discards. That's not so great. Uh, I'm gonna use it for, I'm gonna use the Winter Quarters card, which lets me make uh, two attacks during the winter round without suffering a, a negative multi uh, modifier, which is usually what, what happens. So Maximinius is gonna attack the quad eye. Four, five, six, seven, eight, versus the five. Eight, nine, 10, 11, five, six, seven. All right, he goes back and I do a second attack right away. And that's uh, still going to be 8. Oh, plus 6 is uh, 14. 14. And then we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he's going to get pushed back a bit further. That's pretty good. So that's my Winter Quarters card. I'm not going to use my Tremporary, Tru my Tremporary Truce card because the Truce only lasts till the end of the turn. The turn is about to end. I'm going to save both these cards into my Meditation stack. Usually you can just save one, but because I have the Ulysses Mysteries, I can save two. So, uh, that worked out okay for me. We're now in the housekeeping phase. I'm going to lose an IP because of uh, this uh, doodad. But that brings me down to three, which is a lot better than one. I'm in better shape than I was at the beginning of the turn, but, but not by much. Um, I do need to check and see if these forts go away by rolling for each. If I roll the six, they would go away. They, they didn't, so I'm good. And uh, that is that turn, and uh, we'll see how bad I do uh, next turn. Thanks for watching.